So today I'm going to show you some really simple grooves that you can start to practice on your kit. If you are a beginner drummer, maybe lower intermediate kind of area, this is going to be particularly useful for you because we're going to be working on a couple of different things at the same time. If you're intermediate, upper intermediate, advanced, stick around and watch this video anyway because I'm cool. So each one of these grooves is sitting in an eighth note pocket. One and two and three and four and. If you're in the process of learning some new grooves um, as a new drummer, this might be a little bit of a departure from um, what you might be learning right now because we're kind of going the opposite way. I call these grooves one shot grooves because each one of these grooves just requires one shot or one note on the kick drum. Now there are two purposes behind these grooves. The first one is to sort of get you counting so you can know which beats these notes that you're gonna be playing on the kick will land. The other thing that we're gonna be focusing on is, I don't know if you've heard me mention this before, but playing the pulse on the hi-hat. You may have heard me talk before about, you know, how I normally play eighth notes on the hats, but I'm accenting the pulse, the one, two, three, four, and you sort of get this type of rocking motion happening. While you're playing these grooves, I really want you to focus on getting this going. Now I have a video where I talk about this at length, but in a nutshell, what we're doing while you're playing the hats, is you're gonna be using two parts of the stick. So there's a the shoulder and there's the tip of the stick. And what we're doing basically is we're trying to play our hats with a bit of dynamics where we're accenting the pulse or the quarter notes with the shoulder of the stick on the edge of the hats. And then all the offbeat notes we're playing on top of the hats with the tip of the stick. So you start to get this thing going One and two and three and four and that type of thing. So, you know, it's kind of an eighth note sort of train that's going. But while you're playing these grooves, I want you to, um, to try and concentrate on that. When you watch the examples, you'll see what I'm talking about. So while you're watching these examples, I want you to count along with the click. Okay, so one and two and three and four and. And just make a note of where these kicks are landing in these grooves. And just start to get used to the idea of thinking about downbeats and upbeats. Now I'm also going to include a free PDF. That is going to be in the um, description box. Just click on that link. You can download free PDF of all of these four exercises. But right now, let me show you what these look like and then we'll come back.
So those are pretty cool, right? Another thing that I dig about these grooves is that they introduce the idea of space within a groove. Like there's a lot of space inside of these. Um, when you start to play these up tempo, they really start to sound nice. By the way, if you've gotten past the first one, congratulations, you just learned Roxanne. So again, while you're practicing these, I really want you to concentrate on this movement, okay? With the, um, with the right hand. And all you're gonna be doing is dropping your wrist below the edge of the hats for the down beats, and then lifting your wrist above the hats for the up beats. And that will almost automatically play the top of the hats with the tip of the stick. As far as where these notes are landing, these are all landing on offbeat eighth notes, all right? Which basically means that they're always gonna land when your stick is in this position. So your wrist is gonna be up here. So it's a good way to just sort of line everything up while you're playing. It's just gonna help tighten it up. Now the next two steps that I'm gonna want you to do after you get comfortable playing with these, number one, take it up to tempo. Okay, you want to gradually speed these up so they sound, you know, nice and clean on uh, faster tempos. These, I think, were around 100, 100 beats per minute, these examples. You want to be able to take it up, you know, 130, maybe 140-ish. And then um, another thing that I'm going to want you to do is start to combine these exercises. So all of these will work with each other, right? So you just, you can just start to combine, you know, the first one and the third one and the fourth one and, and eventually just start weaving in and out of all of them. So go ahead and have some fun with these. You're gonna get a lot of mileage out of these grooves. Another cool thing that I like about these is that it'll get you out of the mindset that every groove needs to start with a kick on beat one. So grab the PDF and get to work. Thanks for watching this video. By the way, before I go, I just need to mention warm weather is returning. That means it's t-shirt weather and I know you've been digging this one. This is my best seller. Click the link in the description box. I got a merch shop full of the coolest shirts for drummers. Make sure you go check some of those out. Every time you buy a piece of merch, you're supporting the channel. Another thing that I need to mention real quick, if you're not already a member of the Drumio Edge family, we're partners. They hooked us up, so there is also a link in the description box for that where you can try Drumio for 30 days for free. So all you gotta do is hit that link in the description, that's gonna take you over to my landing page. Two clicks, you can try the whole kingdom out for free for 30 days to see if you like it. There's a whole lot of stuff in there that you're gonna wanna check out. Other than that, I'm out. Thanks for watching this video. Drop a comment below if you got one. Share this video if you dig it. Like, subscribe. See you next video.